Today I just want to talk to you about my 2024 Honda Trans Out. And I want to talk to you about the stock seat. So here I am. I'm about 270 pounds, a little heavier guy. I'm also a little bit short. I'm about five foot eight and a half. And right now, with the stock seat, when I throw a leg over this bike, I mean, it's doable, you know? It is doable. And when I go to put my feet down, as you can see, I kind of, my tippy toes are down, right? And uh, I mean, I can touch the ground and it's all right, okay? But you want to be closer to the ground, right? So Honda makes a low seat. So that's what I have right here. That's what came in this nice big box. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to throw on the Honda low seat. I'm going to show you what the, the reach is like, and then I'm going to go for a ride and see what I think of it. $160 for this new seat. Pretty good value, right? But is it any good? Let's see. All right, so I'm going to take my key, and I am going to put it in the, in the lock here. I'm going to release the seat. So now we have, there is the, the original seat. I'm going to get out the low. Here's the low seat right here and so let me put that on and let's take a look at it put that up in there and then you want to do that positive click so now the seat is installed okay so now let's see what the reach is like so now I throw a leg over it and I definitely can notice uh, it's about 20 millimeters is what they say which isn't huge what is that it's not even uh, maybe half an inch, but I feel that, you know? But it's it's not dramatic, it's not dramatic. Um, well, or is it? <laughs> I mean, it kind of is, actually. It's, uh, yeah. Now that I'm kind of, let me, let me spend a little second here, let me, I mean, yeah. Okay, I do notice that, that I feel, or that I am, rather, I go from, I guess, the tip of my feet to the balls of my feet. But I'm not going to know until I go ride it. So we're going to do that right now. Okay, so here I am on out of my initial ride with the new Honda low seat on my Honda Trans Alp. And uh, a couple things I like about it are the first thing is that when I pull up to a stop sign like this one, I can easily put my foot down, pretty much the balls of my feet, uh, yeah, I've got the balls of my feet, both my right foot and my left foot. I'm able to reach the ground a little bit better, and uh, and that is certainly a good thing. So now I'm I'm lower in the saddle, obviously, with a slightly lower seat. Uh, I feel, you know, just a little bit more uh, like down in the bike, I guess you could say, and. And I like that. I do like that. The quality of it feels okay. I mean, it uh, you know it feels very similar to the stock seat. And uh, but you know what? Here, here's the one thing I'm really noticing, like right away. And I kind of noticed it when I was sitting on the bike. Is that this puts me? I mean, if you can see here, just look down here. So. Obviously my belly's in the way a little bit here, but but what's happening is this uh, this low seat is pushing me forward. I mean it feels it feels like an like an inch. Like, you know, yeah, this may lower you a half an inch, but it also it also pushes me forward quite a bit. And I and I kind of feel like I've got the um, I've got the the seat kind of you know it's, it's just you know what I this is creating an uncomfortable riding position for me so there we go I'm a little closer to the ground I like that putting the bike over hopping off the bike so there it is there's the seat the low seat you can see it sits down okay so here I am back on the bike with the uh, with the stock seat 
back on and uh, as you can see my belly didn't quite push over the 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 tank as much as it did with that low seat I mean listen this is just way more comfortable yeah so okay so it's you know it's maybe not uh, 20 millimeters lower but that's really um, I tell you as much as that pushed you forward yeah I mean okay so I'm still I mean so kind of you know balls of my feet a little bit uh, certainly can't flat foot this thing but uh, but I, I think uh, you'd be very wise to maybe just stick with the uh, stock seat so uh, yeah this this thing is way more comfortable I did the uh, the hundred mile challenge with this seat and I uh, I rode it over 50 miles east and then back and uh, did that in a couple of hours and I have to say the the stock seat that comes on these Honda Trans Alps is pretty darn good so as far as stock seats go anyway and uh, if you've been riding for any time at all you know oftentimes those stock seats are garbage but I think uh, I think especially after trying that especially after trying that Honda low I think uh, I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna stick with this one so you know unless you need to be pushed forward which you might you know and if you do then I suppose that might be a reason to get that low seat but nope I don't think so I think the stock seat is where it's at so thanks for checking out this video everybody this is JP 1970 and I will see you in the next one take care bye bye